shoe lifts, elevators, height insoles, platforms, risers, wedges, heel inserts. There may be a myriad of ways to describe shoe lifts, but they all have a common purpose. To boost your height up and make yourself appear taller, whilst concealing the additional height boost. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to notice if an actor, or anybody really, is wearing shoe lifts or elevators. It can make things a bit tricky though. I run CelebHeights.com. I'm trying to figure out the barefoot height of actors and shoe lifts, well they can make things a bit more interesting. Now if I didn't know better, I'd estimate this actor as being 5 foot 10. But see the boots he's wearing? Those are typical elevator shoes. When anybody wears big shoe lifts, their natural stride isn't so natural. Males aren't used to wearing shoes in which their heel is significantly higher than their toes. It takes a fair bit of practice to even look normal. So watch out for those funny walks. That's the first sign in spotting a lift wearer. Hollywood has been using many tricks to make actors appear taller. From platforms and ramps to ditches and camera angles. The most common tool at an actor's disposal though is height enhancing footwear. Humphrey Bogart was famous for it. This photo explains the reason. Those are external shoe lifts. When you account for the thickness of his shoe plus those lifts, he's probably boosting his height up by at least 4 inches. They're a bit like the ones Robert De Niro wore in The Irishman. Now some actors only wear lifts for specific purposes, like playing a character in a film. Directors may also want their leading men to appear taller, so ask them to wear shoe lifts. Francis Ford Coppola once asked Al Pacino to wear shoe lifts on The Godfather, but Al was walking about the set like Donald Duck. Al said, get these lifts out my shoes and I might walk straighter. When you think of an actor today who wears impressive looking footwear, Robert Downey Jr. immediately springs to mind. From playing Iron Man and wearing heels to appear taller, Downey has since been a regular wearer of elevator shoes. He seems to like the height boost they provide and doesn't dismiss the fact that he wears them. Robert once said, there's nothing to talk about there. Lots of actors do that both now and in the past. Tom Cruise, or read up on John Wayne who had lifts in his car so he looked taller driving. Height is one of the rules and practices of this male enhancing business. You know it's funny Robert should mention John Wayne because there's a Hollywood actor who is above six foot tall and who needs lifts when you're over? six foot. Other actors also commented on John's lift wearing, including Robert Mitchum, who once joked that Wayne probably get buried in his damn lifts. Spotting elevator shoes can be easier than spotting a lift inside a shoe. Now an elevator shoe is designed with the lift as an integral and moulded part of the shoe, and the leather portion is much higher than a normal shoe to accommodate the extra lifts. So when you compare a normal shoe with an elevator shoe, the difference is quite stark. Notice a couple of things about elevators. Not only do they have a big heel, the lace section has a steeper angle than a traditional shoe and the back of the shoe has a more pronounced curve. Now trousers can cover quite a lot of the shoe so if somebody is standing up and you're looking down at their shoes, it can be difficult telling if it's an elevator, but if somebody is sitting down though, it can become quite apparent. Just look at the revered North Korean leader, the supreme and great Kim Jong-un. Classic elevator shoes. But what about this photo of a celebrity that many people claim wears lifts? Now the heel looks a decent size, maybe 1.25 inches, 
and the leather around the ankle does indeed look a bit higher than normal, but that could just be the actual type of shoe the Oxford wingtip brogues. When compared against his co-star, his ankle does indeed look nearly an inch higher, but the shoe itself gives at least half an inch more than the sneaker. So if the actor is indeed wearing lifts, they're at most half an inch. Shoe lifts and elevators can also affect your posture. There were suggestions aimed at Donald Trump that his posture might indicate that he was a secret lift wearer. But let's be fair, the president is in his 70s and when you wear lifts, you don't tend to lean forward like Trump. No, you tend to stand tall like Sylvester Stallone or Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds was one of the greatest lift wearers in Hollywood. His custom elevator boots boosted his height up by over three inches, taking him from five foot eleven barefoot to almost six foot three in shoes. And also look at the front of the shoe. That's another telltale sign of elevators. The toe section is shortened in length. Also, somebody's sudden jump in height is also a dead giveaway. If you see me in public looking this tall with Jenny, then you'll know for sure I'm wearing lifts. But for now, I'm happy and content with my lift-free one-inch Clarks.